Yes, yes, and yes. Thank you. So we decriminalize being homelessness and being homeless in this community. I mean, we have a problem when people can't just sit down on the street without being cited. That is not okay. It should never be okay, and it should not be on the books anymore. It's, it's been far too long. You know, when I met my partner, he was living out of his car. Um, it, life happens, and we need to be more accommodating to people. Um, and with regard to meeting with Austin Interfaith, um, I have done that for years as a council aide, um, and, and I will be honored to meet with y'all as much as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Until we are building, like, we have enough places for people to sleep, the most basic of human needs. It is immoral for it to be criminalized, to be homeless. So absolutely, we need to decriminalize homelessness. And I know that's a difficult conversation, but we have to have those difficult conversations. And when we talk about community policing in general, we need to make sure that all of our community feels supported by the police. And that is not the truth right now. So we have to work with the police so that everybody feels that they are protected. And I will absolutely be accountable to Austin Interfaith. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, to community policing. Yes, to accountability with regard to the ordinances. Uh, yes, to panhandling. And yes, to repealing sit by with regard to camping, I do think that's a conversation that we need to have with a broader range of stakeholders. I'm extremely concerned about what might happen if we um, if we remove that ordinance. I'm concerned that it will move toward uh, criminal trespass, which actually does impact housing, so it, it, people's ability to get housing. I will say I have been a champion for incre increasing our resources for individuals uh, experiencing homelessness, as well as moving forward some very important initiatives. In fact, that is the highest priority um, for my office and my work, and I will continue that. Ms. Togo, may I um, make sure that we have your responses uh, correct in regard to homelessness? You are saying yes to repeal uh, panhandling, yes to repeal the prohibition on public sleeping, yes. but no on the repeal of King. At this point, pending a discussion about with Thank you. Thank you. Mayoral candidates, Mr. Adler and Ms. Morrison. So aspirationally, my answer is yes to all three. We have the same legal concern that the mayor pro has with respect to Ken. But I will say this. Someone shouldn't be put in jail because they don't have a place to sleep. And in our city, the question here really needs to go further than the one you asked. Are we going to commit to provide housing for people that are homeless in our community? And the answer to that has to be yes. Because we have to give people an alternative. My understanding is that the courts have told us that, and agree with us, you can't discriminate on the basis of status. Yes, on community policing so that we both can understand each other, and yes, on accountability. I'm always met with the faith and I always will. Thank you. Um, Beyond aspirationally, we would appreciate a clear response. Yes, on on, on community policing. Uh, yes, on community policing. Yes, on, on, on meeting with us. Meeting with, but on the three. Yes. Uh, yes, on sleeping. Yes, on soliciting. On camping. That is a more that would be a no. Question. Thank you very much, Ms. Morrison. Yes, on all three. Thank you. Criminalizing homelessness isn't the answer. Housing and services is the answer. With regard to community policing, we know that that's the right answer. We have great, great examples of that working in the city and around the country. And with regard to accountability, not only will I, yes, I will absolutely be with you, but I will look to you all to, as a partner in, um, as, as the mayor, because I know that that's the way it worked when I was on the council, that uh, the resource of the voice of the community and the community needs coming through uh, Austin and Bay is very important. Thank you. Uh, the leadership here of Austin Interfaith invited all viable candidates to 
participate in this assembly and also met with each one 45 minutes prior to participating uh, in, this, in this assembly. And so we wanted you to be aware of that. Uh, we made some decisions based on timing and how much uh, capacity time-wise we had. But thank you for your understanding. To ask 